Hi well, guys and welcome, my name is Chris and this is Rachel Legends and this is the playthrough series for Ra Rachel Legends helping you get started with your first account and getting you into the to the meat of the game. Um, okay, so if you followed these videos at all, we've kind of been running through this game and I'll kind of show you where we're at with progression now. We are uh, from our day login rewards, we're on day 6, okay, so um like I, I haven't been playing this constantly i've been kind of uh just like dipping in and out every now and then um to try and get progression as you can see i've got like 1600 energy so it's just been like stored there it's just been saving up uh, and this is not ideal because our xp banner has run out um so we currently need to find one from somewhere else to get like the maximum amount of experience for our energy uh, so let's just claim this free mystery shard uh, I don't know if I've covered that yet, but you get a, a daily mystery shard and then a weekly ancient shard free uh, when you log in. Um, that gets refreshed like every day for this ancient shard. Uh, it's on an automatic timer as well, so if you don't log in for a week and then you come back, both of these two should be collectible. Um, okay, so we've gone through um, most of these things. We've gone through tavern portal, dungeons, uh, potions for ascension, um, battle pass, quests, challenges, <laughs> missions, all of this stuff, and like leveling our champions. Uh, what we haven't gone through is gems. Um, up here, we could buy gems. We're not going to buy gems. Definitely not. Um, uh, so gems is another currency in this game. Energy, like just at the top, our energy is what you get for being able to, um, you know, do campaign levels or dungeon levels. Um, you get your arena tokens here to enable you to play in the arena. Each one token allows you to do one battle. Uh, our silver is our resources for upgrading things, upgrading our artifacts, and for purchasing stuff from the market. And our gems, our gems are um, a higher, higher resource than silver. Gems allow us to do so do stuff such as unlock uh, the gem mine which after we unlock that it kind of gives us an income of gems daily it allows us to unlock slots in our sparring pit um so our sparring pit is just an area where we can place it a champion and it's going to automatically level them up and um, they're going to accumulate 2000 experience per hour on level one And it's going to give you like a, a timer of when they'll be ready to level up. Uh, the only thing with this is when they're ready to level up, you just need to come in here and click on them to level them up manually. And then it will re go proceed to the next level and start leveling them up again. Um, so that's uh, something that you could spend your gems on. Um, me personally, I didn't do this on my main account. I kind of wish I did at the start when I had gems. Just so, just so I can fill this out, because there's five slots, and kind of, um, you know, to get six stars, you need five five star champions. Um, so this is always a good way if you've got like five four star champions, stick them, stick them in there. Why do we need downtime when you haven't got any XP boost? They can be leveling up automatically uh, while you grind your other champions up to turn them into five stars. So that's a good way of leveling six stars up. Uh, as well, but it is it does cost a lot of gems to unlock them all um, And they have levels as well. So 300 per slot. That's uh, 1200 gems to get far to get the other four slots unlocked and then there's slots one out of three This upgrade is 350 gems. So I'm assuming that's gonna go up another 50 gems to get to level three You know, so yeah, that's just a whole load of gems uh, required to unlock everything at its highest level um, so also let's see what we can uh, so with gems as well we can buy stuff so if we were lacking on silver we can spend gems on get buying silver um, I think that's main yeah so you can buy silver from here uh, but we can also go into the gem shop and this way you can buy like additional resources for your account <coughs> to enable you to play for longer uh, you can buy XP boosts in here, so if you just had like a load of stored energy, 
and you want to do some grinding, you could just buy an XP boost and then you know jump in straight away. Uh, 140 gems for a one day boost, 280 gems for a three day boost. Um, <clears throat> generally, if I'm gonna go grinding, I'll always buy a three day because it's just you get more time with your per, per gem spent. As long as you get, you're gonna use the three days, if you're only planning on doing like a um, you know, like a 12 hour grind or something, then just buy the single one. Um, you could also buy clan boss keys, name changer for 20 gems, a potion pack. Although, I wouldn't go for this because this is always going to be random what you get. Or, I, actually, I'll take that back straight away. <laughs> we click on it, um, you, it tells you exactly what you get three 30 lesser arcane potions, 15 great potions, and five superior potions. That's 150 gems. That is a lot of gems. Um, but yeah, it's a quick way to do it. Um, what I'm mainly spending my gems on is a, the big shard pack. 900 gems gets you 11 ancient shards and uh, some silver as well. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you. It can be used. You can save up a big chunk of gems and then just buy some big shard packs, especially when the two times summoning events occur. Because then you've got like, a little bit of a, an extra chance to, to pull something decent from these. Um, but the most beneficial aspect of these gems is energy replenishment. Um, so that's just at the cost of 40 gems, it's going to refill your energy. Um, so our level at the minute allows us to get 87 per 40 gems. When you're max level, that's 100 and. Oh, what is max level energy? Uh, I'm not too sure what it is, but it's like 100 and something, like 120 or 130. So it increases the value of that, um, which makes it so much more worth spending your gems on energy. Um, okay. Let me just check. So I'm not in a clan boss at the minute. Did I just see that right? I've got 12 clan boss keys. <laughs> Oh man, I need to join a clan, and that's going to be another video <laughs> which will come out. I, don't, I kind of need to get all these videos done quicker so we can kind of go over all this stuff because I'm building up clan boss keys when they should be being spent. Um, but uh, with gems, the first two things I would recommend you to do are unlocking the market and unlocking the mine. Now, currently, we only have 175 gems, so. Go to the mine. To unlock the mine, it costs 500 gems, which we're nowhere near. And again, this goes up in levels as well. I don't think it goes up anymore. I think it's still 500 per level. I could be wrong there. Um, I guess we'll be able to see until we get to that stage. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so this is just the production. Um, so we get one gem every four hours and 48 minutes. That's a capacity of five. And it takes one day and two minutes to fill that. Um, obviously, as we go up in levels, that's going to increase the productivity and the capacity will increase as well. So if it's fully unlocked, uh, we get 12 gems a day, um, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, after a while, I think it's like three months or something, I've invested uh, after three months of collecting these every day. After that point, then you'll start to see a return on your gems. And then from, from that point on, everything you get from here is going to be a profit. It's just going to be building up and you're going to get you know, loads of gems from it over time. Um, but the other thing that we can start unlocking right away, and I think I've already unlocked two slots in this, is the market. Um, now the market is a really good place, especially when you're starting off to try and uh, get certain pieces of gear. So we can get this. This has got speed on it, which is something that we... We like in our champions so we can purchase that for 35 silver level that up um, I wouldn't buy this one though because it's a three star um, and we can get three star gear in the campaign um, but with these you can get um, rare epics and even legendary pieces of uh, gear as well from here so it's always worth looking in the market see if we think decent drops and the main reason, the main thing that you want to be getting from this as well is every so often it will drop an ancient shard. And this will be for 200,000 silver. But it's, you know, it's an ancient shard. You're going to want to buy that. Um, 
So the first thing that I would recommend doing is unlocking the rest of the slots for this. So it's sad to see your stuff get taken away. <laughs> your gems, your silver. So I'm not going to be able to do like all of this because I'm lacking gems and I'm lacking silver to do it. But I'm working my way down there. And then once all these uh, are unlocked, you get the whole availability of this. Of this. So it refreshes every so often. I wish I was more prepared than this. I think it's every hour. It might be every half an hour. We'll stick to an hour. It's every hour it ref refreshes. And then a whole new roster of stuff is going to be on here. That you can like uh, just dive in, check and see if there's anything decent. Um, which is always nice. You know, it's I've, I've brought quite a few things from the market. Um, that have been better. Well, I've had mainly gems, but a few pieces of gear as well. Um, and if you're building uncommon champions, you can get skill ups. And I usually help this for my grinding, so whenever I'm grinding, I just buy a two-star champion. Um, because it's easier for me to do it that way, rather than leveling up one-stars. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so, like, to start off with as well, gems are going to be kind of rewards that we'll get for doing campaign. So we're going to be building up, so I've got some here. Got 50 gems from that. I don't think I've got any of ones yet. I think if we pick our mission, we'll get some gems here. Um, and here, that's like way up the list. But you, know, you get three hundred gems when you do your first tier. So there's always you're always going to be getting gems from some some part of this game. Obviously, when you do your your daily quests, you're going to be in ten gems a day from this. Do you get it from weekly? No. You get 100 from your monthly um but you can do this anytime within that month so upgraded champion to rank five you get an extra 100 gems bonus um and challenges as well some of these drop gems i've been saving this through day xp which i'll claim very soon um i just don't know which ones i think most of these are going to be silver uh, but yeah there are somewhere some places that have gems in here as well so this is all going to be you know boosting your overall gem uh, gem intake and so you can get some more enough gems to unlock this other, these other slots so we've got enough now so we can just go ahead and do that and then we don't have 100k silver just yet um But yeah, that's that's what I do anyway. I unlock this first and then go to uh, the gem mine. And then you can see if you want to unlock these as well. Um, to be honest with you, like this is good and it's going to save your energy in the future. Um, for leveling up champions. But I, to be honest, I think you get enough energy thrown at you anyway. And enough experience packs thrown at you as a free to play player. That you can literally bypass that if you wanted to. Um, because when you come into mid game to late game, you're going to have a really high, uh, f well, a really fast farming champion that's going to be able to farm these uh, campaign missions for you in like six or seven seconds. Uh, so, really, when you're leveling up champions, it's going to just, you know, give yourself an hour. You're going to be able to get like, you know, three five star champions or something like that. It's going to rinse your energy, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm impatient. So. <laughs> Like, doing stuff like Sparring Pet annoys me. Just logging back in every time to click it to level it up. So I just like the whole... The, the speed and the fluidity of being able to have a champion that can... Uh, clear this stage really quickly and just get a load of levels up that way. Um, but again, with Sparring Pet, it's completely up to you. Um, in the long run, you will be saving on energy. Um, per leveling up champions but like i said with these it is a big investment with gems um so personally like this whole row i would have brought a pack of 11 shards and just seen if i got any better champions from it than just spend it on that but like i said that one's completely up to you for the long game for the long long game it might be worth it just so you can stick champions in there uh, but like I said, I'm impatient, so I just kind of skipped that bit and just wanted to level up champions myself. Um, but yeah, and that is gems. 
basically. So, <clears throat> I, <laughs> I hoped that helped for the gems. So we got, so recommended, this is what I would do. Unlock your slots first in the market. So you got a full list of uh, slots. Cause you don't want to be like uh, saving up, get just get 500 gems, unlock that. And then something nice comes out in here and you just, uh, you know, it unlocks down here and you're like, oh, I've got no gems left. I can't really do anything. Um, there is also another purpose for gems, which you may or may want not want to do. I wouldn't advise this because you have the option. So, um, in your like champion bag, I guess, uh, you can unlock more slots, and in your champion vault, you can unlock more slots as well. So, if you click on this little plus box, it will give you the option for ten more slots. You use one hundred twenty thousand silver or four. 40 gems and obviously the more slots you increase this price is going to increase as well um so same again with those in the vault silver or gems um because you have these options i would not recommend using gems to increase your slots because the you know the value is so much more uh, than spending your silver just for an example you know, your silver, you get a lot of it by grinding your champion's levels. So as you're grinding your champion's levels, you're gaining that silver, plus you're gaining experience and, um, you know, artifacts or extra champions or shards. Um, so I think grinding your way and building up your silver this way is going to be more beneficial than just flat out dumping a load of gems into uh, increasing your slots when you could be using your gems on other stuff. Um, such as you know, refilling energy or um, saving up for gem packs, uh, shard packs even, or something like that. So yeah, definitely would recommend just trying to use silver and expanding your slots rather than gems. Um, just as a free to play player, silver, we can generate that ourselves a lot more easily than generating gems. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. This one was mainly about gems and I hope this video helped you if it did or if you liked any of this content then please hit that like and subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified on when another video comes out. Um, also leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to you know, improve on this video or suggest um, or if you'd like me to cover any other aspect of this game in more detail than I could put out a video. Uh, so yeah, just uh, drop me a comment as well. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in another video. Take care.